Hello everyone. 안녕하세요. Yeah. Uh, I know that this is the last session and really appreciate I have you are joining. Yeah. Uh, today I will be talking about the CICD circuit management with the secret zero and a little bit about ourselves. Uh, we are uh, in a DevSec op team of Jersey Social. Um, financial uh, company is care about the data services of the people. So the most thing we, we care about is the security of our infrastructure. And this is how we enhance the security for overall of us. Uh, today we have the, uh, we have to uh, follow agenda. The problem, the problem that, uh, we are facing, the option, the option that we are choosing, uh, we, uh, the option we uh, solve the problem but it's not work well, so it's finalize the solution. So the first problem is uh, some of the report according to Verizon, that the French report, uh, is like uh, largest, uh, one of the most largest uh, Telco and uh, internet provider of the United States, 31% uh, of uh, bridges over the past 10 years is the stolen credential and the long line credential. So uh, it's really important because the, our infrastructure is uh, dedicated to uh, uh, credential, so we lose that credential, we lost all of our infrastructure. And some of the uh, like you know, incident report uh, recently in 2024 that uh, GitHub personal access token in the pipe is one of the more uh, important like package manager of Python, and also there is some anti core about the uh, leaking and uh, <coughs> leaking uh, authentic authentication token in popular project, so it's uh, raise many concerns. Uh, the long line uh, token in the CICD process said, for example, GitHub token, Dr. Verikic's uh, credential, Cloudflare asset token, AWS, ZCP, uh, SAP is uh, connected to our infrastructure, so it's very important. And the, the process of the rotation is very costly. Like, for example, uh, if you have uh, for four projects and uh, for different account of AWS, you not centralize. You have to create the IAM user for this account, and when you have to rotate, it's, it's take many times. You have to do ninety days, uh, <coughs> and maybe it's uh, cause some downtime because we set the like is five time of uh, the token, so we don't aware of uh, when is expired, and it's maybe cause the downtime. So uh, we coming uh, to the option that um, some of the solution we try to solve our problem. Uh, the first one is GitHub app. Uh, GitHub app is like the functional really of the GitHub to like you can access the repository, the configuration for for the GitHub, and yeah, it's also. Uh, automation tasks, organization coming issue and pull requests. It's maybe a, a good choice to replay the GitHub personal access token. Uh, this, this is the comparison of the GitHub app and the uh, uh, GitHub personal access token. The GitHub app is uh, we have, the GitHub app. They have the private key and using that private key to generate the supply token. Uh, the car is we want to supply token because uh, when when in the CI/CD process, maybe you have to hard code to be config uh, for the GitHub asset uh, token. So after the workflow run, the the supply token is revoked. So if uh, we have any uh, any data breach or uh, something like a report in the beginning, we can mitigate this. Uh, and with GitHub app, it. Uh, Organization, we can centralize the, the file grain permission uh, repository. Uh, the GitHub personal access token is just a long line token, and you, uh, for example, you, you use the token when you rotate. All all the things will be come down because uh, the the revealed person they they revoke uh, if you using the personal asset token. Uh, with the GitHub app, we have the Mozi repeat the same time, so we, we will mitigate the, the downtime when we like rotate in the, the, the 
in gravity and also uh, the GitHub customer asset token is dedicated to uh, an account we have to create a board uh, or something else uh, and generate the personal asset token on this uh, but with, with GitHub app we, uh, we can add the user to manage the app not dedicated to the one account uh, this is how we implement the GitHub app to generate a set token. We use the uh, officially the action of the GitHub to create a set app token. The flow is uh, we install the uh, GitHub app into our repository or maybe organization, and in the workflow, uh, in the workflow, uh, they have the step to yeah you can deep dive into the action. They have the step to to using that. Get the app to generate a software token and using that software token to uh, process in our CICD. So the, the GitHub app will be solve the problem that long line GitHub token because we don't have any long line GitHub token on every this is software token and we have the file file grain token. Although yes, uh, the GitHub uh, this is very good. But uh, we we must to define the permission per workflow, so that maybe cost our operation cost. That people maybe go to the workflow and then create the uh, create the workflow and have to define with repository with permission. They they need to uh, to access. So yeah, that's that's the the cost one. And with the the next one is with the cloud provider uh, because when <coughs> sorry uh, when in the CICD we were said we need to deploy the application into the uh, cloud and also maybe the CICD process for infrastructure as code we have to communication with the cloud provider so we have the option that using the OIDC with the cloud provider uh, the OIDC. OIDC is uh, based on identity to authentication with the cloud provider. This uh, features they have on the GitHub that uh, GitHub they have the server to generate the OIDC token for its repository. Uh, we will have the deep uh, detail in the demo section. Yeah. So the GitHub generate uh, generate to, to an OIDC token and using that. Uh, OIDC token to authentication with the cloud provider. Yeah, this is the flow. The uh, when in the GitHub, the action workflow will be request an OIDC token, and the GitHub server will be generated. They have the OIDC service to generate the uh, OIDC token, and we using that OIDC token to authentication. Uh, make uh, we have to configuration on the. Uh, Collaborator as well to trust the GitHub. Yeah, the pros is that uh, software token as well. Uh, the uh, we are armed to do everything is software uh, because uh, when it's running the process, this will be terminated. And if we have like uh, unfortunately we import into our core of packages, we don't need to worry about this because it's a software token. Uh, and yeah, the cons is that complex setup because uh, like the setup between uh, GitHub and collaborator, uh, and you have multiple account, you have multiple project, will be uh, maybe this increase the complexity of configuration. Uh, yeah, and hard to maintain uh, because each collaborator they have different way to uh, configure the OIDC and services and maybe we have the, uh, we have some collaborator they do not support the OIDC for example we are using Cloudflare for our uh, web application so Cloudflare do, do not support the OIDC with the uh, uh, GitHub so it's not it's not a pro uh, it's not a good idea for all all of the uh, collaborator we are using so we we are going to the solution. Uh, the solution is secret zero. Secret. Uh, what is the secret zero? Secret zero is when all of the secret are protect under another secret, and a single key or master key will be granted set to everything. Uh, 
Uh, for example, one of the uh, secret zero, we, we usually see that interaction secret uh, viewing service of both centralized, has a couple centralized secret set, maybe one password, uh, uh, last spot, or something else. This is uh, secret zero. So uh, we choosing both for our secret zero solution because uh, both both uh, service engine they provide uh, several dynamic engine such as Terraform, ZCB, uh, AWS. Not sorry, not Cloudflare. Uh, it is uh, and GitHub. And the rotation of the bow is really simple because we have a centralized way to rotate all the series. Maybe we just replay one one one, one uh, in one place and all have been seen. Yeah. But they have cons, like, uh, like I say, uh, Secret Zero is uh, many secret under another secret. So if the master key of the vault is compromised, or this, uh, we we totally lose everything. Yeah. Uh, this is one of the secret plug in that will support, uh, for example, some of the most popular cloud writer, uh, Kubernetes, GitHub and also yeah very much and they also have the community plugin that we install into the bow and uh, can do this so this is our solution that we we use in Vo. Uh, we store we store all things in Vo, uh, configuration in Vo. Uh, for example with the uh, aws uh, T terraform and zcb Vo, they have the uh, the way uh, many ways to to configuration uh, to generate the secret. Uh, yeah, with the Cloudflare, this is the, our plugin uh, because in the industry we don't have uh, see any community plugin that's still Cloudflare. So we roll uh, we roll on um, plugin by ourselves. Yeah. Uh, this is the flow for for. Right, I, I think it's uh, quite small. Yeah. Uh, mm, when we have the CI/CD process, they, they 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 need to authentication to the GitHub. They have to request. They have to request the C, uh, an OIDC token from the OIDC GitHub OIDC service. Uh, and GitHub OIDC service, they use this. Uh, to authentication with Vault and in the Vault we have a configuration the policy and when uh, the, uh, the token is made with the policy we return the uh, token to the CICD process and this is uh, have its by time and this uh, CICD process will use the access token to uh, make the CICD process uh, like I said, that's a, a one of the uh, advantages of Vault is that we we have the community plugin and we ha we, we 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 can write a plugin by, by ourselves. Uh, so Cloudflare is one of the thing we are using, and they don't have any community plugin. So this is our private project, but I, I think that's maybe open source. Uh, so yeah, uh, this will come. Uh, create a cloudflare token and uh, dynamically, not manually. Yeah, uh, the same flow. That you, that you can do that. Uh, so we have the demo section for for this one, and my teammate will be presenting to you. Hello everyone. Thank you, Long. Okay, so uh, I will. Uh, uh, do a demo, a demo for you. Uh, okay, so what we have here. So first, uh, I have a, uh, for example, it, it is it's one small one. So, uh, so for example, I have a uh, demo. I have a repository here. Uh, okay, it's just a simple uh, low uh, application. Uh, 
Okay, so uh, in this AI, uh, we use uh, GitHub Action uh, for CI/CD, and uh, in this you can see uh, it will need the uh, GitHub token uh, for uh, it is, uh, with this uh, flow. Uh, first, I will build a uh, Docker image and process to uh, Google Artifact, uh, and then uh, we deploy it. So, uh, as you can see here, to focus in the job uh, builders here, uh, first it will get the uh, role name. So, what is this role name? Uh, so, this role name is used for the CICD to assume uh, to get the person uh, and then retrieve secrets uh, from Vow here. Yeah. Uh, okay, so let First, uh, so first, it need to obtain the vow, right? Uh, we use, as you can see, I have deployed uh, in vow uh, is uh, five row, five row here, and I, in this, you can see, uh, with the flow, will build and lose, it will need to lose image, right? And then, uh, first, it will need. Uh, So it, uh, with this clause, it will come to vow and assume this uh, role and then retrieve script from four back here. So first one is uh, GitHub some demo. So this this part is save uh, all the secrets of one repository and uh, you can uh, it, it is used uh, to replace for the uh, GitHub action secret uh, building in uh, GitHub, and then uh, uh, the next one is uh, the box share contact branch. So what is what is this do for us? Uh, it's used for uh, say it, so in what work you you can have uh, like uh, a Docker access token used for all those three in one product, right? So you can set it here, and when you rotate, just rotate in here. What place? Do not need to. You, you don't need to uh, replace in 100 repository like this. And this is used to retrieve GitHub token. Uh, like uh, this part will help you get a soft like uh, uh, a like GitHub token with five free grant uh, permission uh, to accept the repo you have configured. And this. Uh, but it used to get the DCP token, DCP all out to access token to uh, uh, access to the DCP cloud provider. Okay, so uh, you can see here, I just uh, so. Uh, First, uh, as you can see, uh, when the workflow when the program right, uh, it will issue a an uh, OIDC token uh, from GitHub here. You can see uh, it has many uh, object here, and it will use the object. It, it might be a event name, uh, event name here, or job for web, or just a runner environment here. Uh, to so it will use this. You the object, you this object of the token uh, to match with the to match with the power plane of the own you have over here, and you can see uh, in here this workflow I use the sub object here uh, uh, to find the own and you can see you to claim this own and then. When it uh, claim this role, it will have a token with the policy, with this policy. And this involve policy and below this policy, we have a uh, function to reach to all this part to get token. So, okay, uh, as I said, uh, with the back, uh, uh, this week, uh, right here, you can get the short life for token. From this way, you can see here, uh, we have uh, 
develop some of this concept. Uh, in this city of Philippines, we have uh, uh, identity core concept uh, to manage uh, the role uh, of uh, to manage the function of the token will be generated. So in here you can see uh, I set the function for this drone set is uh, at the fragment so it can up it can uh, up block and uh, it can boost and pull the docker uh, uh, docker image to uh, who are fun so here uh, and it's quite simple uh, behind the scene of uh, the action ball it just you uh, it just the uh, run a coi uh, like this for which and it will get the token here and uh, with this um, token, uh, you will have the time to live uh, about one hour. And you can set uh, the time to live, this time to live for service account. Okay. Okay. And uh, similarly to the uh, DCB, uh, we have uh, GitHub token. Right. Uh, with GitHub token, uh, you can see this. Uh, I have uh, so. Uh, how can you manage the permission of the GitHub token that will be generated? Uh, so in GitHub, uh, for GitHub, well, GitHub uh, there will be also a identity library set in GCP that called permission set. Uh, as you can see here, uh, it will have many permission set. And you can complete, uh, as I said, uh, I use with the, with the uh, app uh, HTTP log sample, uh, I have complete the function here. Yeah, you can find run the function here. Yeah, you can uh, find run the function just contain write or contain read or uh, pull it back right. Uh, and you can also Set, uh, you can also allow this token to accept which uh, to accept what repository in here. Uh, and I have uh, deployed here. Uh, I just you I just find run for this token. This GitHub token can only accept uh, the repository HTTP uh, or symbol and uh, deployment for triggering uh, auto uh, deploy on every frame, right? So. It also possible behind the scene or just uh, run a uh, power bridge GitHub token and we will have the token here. You can see. And you can just uh, you browse UI to control the time to read or just check the time to read uh, uh, in uh, fucking config. Okay. Uh, Uh, and we will check a look at the uh, so all of secret uh, we will uh, set in one place the both so when the people three come up to thousand uh, uh, as I remember uh, uh, now uh, we uh, we have about one kind of people screen uh, at the moment so if we manage in it we will see it too hard. Uh, it, it will cost too much uh, production cost and time for us. So if you we will do just one bow to manage all these people. Okay. Uh, okay. So uh, I think that is for the demo. Uh, 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 thank you for your uh, attention. And uh, anyone have any Question and we come to the PLA, right?